We so saw in lesson two, which is current voltage, and last lesson I introduced to you um, an ammeter. Okay, and what does an ammeter do? Well, it measures the amount of charged particles or electrons passing through a point per second. Okay, in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at um, what current is exactly. Okay, so I'm introducing to you this triangle, okay, or this equation. Uh, Q stands for charge, okay, in this case it will be the electrons passing through a point, and its units are coulombs. And it's, uh, and we denote coulombs with a C, okay. I stands for current, okay, and its units are amperes, denoted by A. T stands for time. And units are seconds, uh, denoted by S. Okay. First thing to be aware of: notice the symbol Q. Okay, is not present in this word or this word. Okay, so it's just something you just got to learn that Q stands for charge. Okay. Likewise with current, the I is not present in any of these words here. Okay, so you just have to to learn that I stands for current. Time T bit easier because you, there's a T here and there's a T there, okay? But, how does this triangle work? W work? If, I, if I cover up the I, it means it's Q divided by T, okay? So what, what is it telling us? It's telling us that there's a certain amount of, of charge, okay, divided by a certain amount of time. So if we're going to have a, a large current, it means we can either have a large amount of charge, loads and loads of electrons present at a particular point, um, or a small amount of time, okay, meaning that amount of charge is moving past this point in a, in a very quickly in a short amount of time, okay. So that's how we get a high amount of current, okay. So um, that's this formula. So that's current. What about voltage, okay? With voltage, there are two formulas V equals I times R, and the second formula is this one which is V equals E over Q, okay? So let's break down what, what do these terms mean. Okay, so V is voltage. Okay, that's a nice straightforward, straightforward one, V, V. And remember, voltage can be also potential difference. Okay. Um, and its units are volts, denoted by V. Current, we already know, okay, that's that. R is resistance. Its units are ohms. And that's the symbol there, omega, okay? In a later video, we'll be looking um, at what resistance is, but for now, resistance is, is, that what, is that which opposes current, okay? The flow of electrons. Right. Here's the other equation. This is energy. Okay. This is voltage again, which we know. Q, we know. Charge. So, this equation is a much better um, description of what voltage is. Okay, so what is voltage? Voltage is essentially the amount of energy each charged particle has. Okay, so the amount of energy each electron carries. Okay. Um, so that's that's a nice way of understanding it, okay? And just be aware that energy, which is measured in joules, okay, denoted by J, is not e exactly voltage. They're proportional to each other, but they're not the same thing, okay? So a 12 volt battery, yes, has more energy compared to a 6 volt battery, okay? But um, volts and energy are, are, are different, okay? So there's this equation to remember. Again, how do we use it? We cover up E if we want to work out energy, then it's voltage times charge, or if you want to work out Q, it's energy divided by voltage. If you want to work out voltage, it's energy divided by charge, okay? Same thing with this equation. Uh, voltage, I times R, R equals V over I, I equals V over R, okay? What is this equation telling us? Well, voltage is the product of current times resistance. So if we have a high current and a low um, resistance, or sorry, a high resistance as well, we get a high voltage, okay? Um, but yeah, so these are the two equations to be aware of, okay? And just briefly, um, 
for historical reasons, they originally thought that uh, charge, the charged particles were positive particles. Okay, so if this was our circuit, this is the positive end of the battery, this is the negative end of the battery. Okay, what we call conventional current. Okay, this is when we have charges going from the positive end of the battery to the negative end of the battery. However, okay, electrons actually go the opposite way. Okay, however, electrons go from the negative end of the battery to the positive end of the battery. Okay, so it's just something for you to, to be aware of and not to get caught out on, on, on your exams. Okay, and, and, and that's basically the difference. So if we Again, just to recap, voltage is the amount of energy that each charged particle has, okay? So if we put a light bulb here, each electron, and if this was six volts, each electron would be carrying six volts um, on it, and then it will be passing on its energy into this lamp before it, uh, then it, then it will go back to this positive end of the battery, okay? And, and that, will, that will happen loads and loads of times for loads and loads of electrons really quickly, okay? So voltage, is basically energy shared out uh, per charge and current is how quickly the electrons are passing a point uh, per second okay and that's the end of this lesson